How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Another build video for you here today. We have the Elemental Prefect. So, as some of you may realize, we have uh, Prefect Shins uh, set here, but looking at the stats 150 Wood Virtue, uh, 12 in Fire and Earth and Water, and Metal is 67. Uh, his set is pretty light, so uh, as you can see, so we're maintaining that agility A. Uh, 12 and all those uh, three virtues because we're using a lot of uh, elemental uh, weapon imbuements. So to look at, oops, gotta look at one of the set pieces here. Uh, so we get general general chi obtention, restore HP, positive effect duration. A unique effect called Regeneration on Fatal Strike, which restores your HP. As you can see right here, restores it gradually. And then the final effect is uh, Element Imbued Weapon Damage. So that is what we're using in the Premium Embedment slot on a lot of the gear here to up that damage quite a bit. Uh, so the thought is you imbue your weapon and you melt enemies. So as you can see, it's right there in the premium embedment slot. HP recovery on fatal strike, positive effect duration, and negative effect uh, removal on fatal strike. On the docking general cestuses, we have spirit gain, element imbued weapon damage in the premium embedment slot, lightning resistance penetration, positive effect duration, and restore HP. For the ranged weapons, we have positive effect duration in that premium embedment slot. Restore HP, Lightning Attack Power, Toxin Attack Power, and Enemy Status Accumulation, Effect Accumulation. So, Toxin and Lightning are our highest, highest attributes, so that is stacked right there. And same thing on the second one, Positive Effect, it Restore HP, Enemy Status Effect, Lightning, and Toxin Attack. On the Helmet, we have um, Helmet Imbued Weapon Damage in the Premium Bedman Slot. Positive effect duration, power gain upon wizardry spell, wizardry spell spirit consumption, damage received while attacking. Positive effect is going to affect those weapon imbuements. That's why it's on a lot of the gear here. For the armor, we again have element imbued weapon damage in the premium embedment slot. Positive effect duration, wizardry spell, spirit consumption, damage received while attacking, and negative effect duration on enemies. For the gloves, we have Element Imbued Weapon Damage, Spirit Vulnerability upon uh, Enemy Detecting, uh, Deflecting, I'm sorry, Critical Blow, Negative Effect Duration on Enemies, Wizardry Spell, Spirit Consumption, and Positive Effect Duration. Pants, we have Positive Effect Duration, Negative Effect on Enemies, Spirit Gains from Normal Attacks, Damage Received while Attacking, and that Element Imbued Weapon Damage in the Premium Embedment slot. Now, this is required for the set. Uh, HP restoration from melee attack damage, woods, wood phase spell, spirit consumption, dragon cure pot, HP recovery, melee attack damage, damage reduction upon deflection. The ivory incense container is required for the set. Now this one is pretty rare. Uh, dragon cure pot, HP recovery, and a plus one to dragon cure pot max uses. Uh, melee attack damage, earth phase, spell, spirit consumption, and HP. So I think I got this through the uh, dupe glitch. So little uh, rare effect there. For the spells, we're using Absorb Vitality, Lightning Weapon, Inner Breath, Poison Bubbles, Spark Rush. Oh, I think I meant to use Toxin Weapon, Spark Rush. Ice weapon, flame weapon, stone weapon. And then for the Divine Beast, we're using Vixie for that extra element imbued weapon damage, Ral rank points gain, Alliance spirit defense, and positive effect duration. Now I can't take all the credit for this build. Um, a user, Akuma Z, on Reddit uh, recommended this. I had put a message out to people asking them to share their New Game Plus Plus builds that uh, had success with them, and he recommended this one. This set, I 
normally passed up on, um, kind of slept on. Uh, but uh, it's a good setup, as as you can see with the um, the cestuses. You're gonna build up the elemental stuff really fast on enemies, um, and especially you want a pair of cestuses that have uh, Jian Li's uh, strike for a martial art. Uh, it's gonna stack up the elemental stuff extremely fast. So I think this build is extremely viable for New Game Plus Plus or Soaring Dragon. So simplistic but effective build, I feel like, for Soaring Dragon, that's Jan Lee Strike. So once again, thanks to Akuma Z on Reddit for suggesting this. I think it's turned out pretty good and uh, extremely viable for the increasing difficulty in Wolong Long Fallen Dynasty. So that is about it for this one, guys. We have the Elemental Prefect. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you.